Okay, we're gonna do a really short upper body blast with some weights. So grab a light pair of weights, a medium pair of weights, and a heavy pair of weights for yourself if you have them. If not, water bottle, can of soup, whatever you have is super. Always follow those physician directives, listen to your body, and let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Now I'm gonna use one pair of weights. If you get to a point of fatigue, that's why you have the later pair of weights. And if it's not heavy enough, feel free to go to that heavier pair of weights or stick with me and just use the pair of weights that you're using. We're gonna do a little biceps, a little shoulders, a little upper back, and then we'll repeat that. All right, here we go. All right. Roll those shoulders back, open up through that chest, and those weights are just hanging down from your side. We're gonna lift it up for two counts, and then lower it nice and down. Now, I'm gonna just turn to the side so you can see. We're not gonna add a swing at the bottom because I want those two muscles, those biceps, to carry that weight up and down. So we have about four more here. Take a breath in that nose. Now if you feel like you're fatigued and your shoulders are coming up, really press those shoulders away from your ears and just use those muscles to lift the weight. If it starts getting fatiguing, you have two options here. You can put the weights down and get a lighter pair or join me now and I'm gonna just start to alternate so I have a little more rest time on one side than the other. And then if you feel good, let's go four more, lower and breathe, three more, perfect. Long neck, shoulders relax, abs are tight the whole time, just one more time. Take a breath, let's give ourselves a tiny bit of rest, roll those shoulders back. Now I'm going to set myself up easy through those knees and I'm going to place one weight up, then the other. And again, I'm going to listen to my shoulders. I'm going to do one at a time to start. Feels pretty good. And then the other. And if you thought that felt pretty good and your back feels great, here we go. We've got eight. Seven. Perfect. Remember that one at a time. Or you're going to grab a lighter pair of weights. Nice. Four. Our elbows that move, our shoulders relaxed. Three, last two, one more time. Good, TLC on that shoulder complex. We're gonna slowly lower those weights down to the side. Angle to one side or stay front. Right foot is in front here. We're gonna hinge at that hip to maintain a nice flat back. That left arm's holding our weight, eyes to the floor. We're gonna pull and push. I want you to think that you're in a nice straight line here, the elbows driving back with those shoulder blades retracting towards the back of your body, shoulders down, again, that shoulder's pulling down towards your hip away from your ear. Now if you feel like you're rounding out, I want you to use that side mirror, nice flat back, pull straight back. We have four on this side, three on this side, two. And step in, hinge up from that hip. Try not to round throughout through the back. Now, this time I'm gonna switch my lead. Holding the weight on the opposite side of the front foot. Nice tall flat back. Hinge at that hip. Let that weight hang. And we're pulling back. Shoulders down. If you feel your lower back at all, I want you to come out of that hinge. Straighten up just a little bit. Folding forward, if that feels good, brace through that trunk the whole time so your core is nice and stable. We have four and three, two, and last one. Step in, roll those shoulders back, hit pause here if you need a little water break. Otherwise, we're going from the top. Shoulders roll back. I'm going to pop my knuckles against that lap. Bracing those abs tight, we're gonna lift up, lower down. Lift up, lower down. Elbows are grazing against the side of that body. Breathing in that nose. Give an exhale, like you're blowing through a straw, blowing out candles. Perfect. 
How about four more? Four, three, remember that one at a time or switching to those lighter weights or heavier weights if you need. Let's do two more. And rest. Relax that shoulder again. Perfect. Now we're going to do an internal rotation shoulder press. What does that mean? We're going to pop our shoulders up. This is externally rotated out. So I'm going to squeeze in and here we go. We're going to press up, pull it down. Seven to go. Six. Breathe. Five. Four. Remember one at a time or lighter weights if you need. Three. Again, shake it out a little bit. Feel free to hit pause, you know, stretch out that neck a little bit if you need. Right foot in front. Again, we're gonna hinge at that back. Let that weight hang from that other side. Eyes gazing straight ahead to the floor. We're pulling eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Good, let that weight, we're gonna push into the floor, hinge that body up, step in. Opposite side, tall body, soft knees, crown of the head lifting to the ceiling, shoulders relax, hinge at that hip, let that weight hang, and let's pull. Seven, six, five, four, I'm counting, and I want you to count too to help get that breath. In the oxygen level up, three, two, and rest. Hinge up, step in, relax, roll those shoulders back, chin to chest. Stretch out that neck just a tiny bit. Stretch in those arms, crown of the head lifts, big shoulder roll back. Awesome work, great work, I'll see you soon, thanks.